What if you tell me what to do via extremely leading questions? A great idea. That is a lot of elites. That is a four elite act one with campfires in between. I'm kind of down to go for it. Take some gold, go to the shop to get strong. Sneaky strike is fine. The ooze. Unfortunately, if I get a bad ooze here, I can't do my path anymore. I can click it a couple of times, though. I don't know if paying five for calipers is a bad ooze or not. <laughs> it's, it's like not a, a good ooze, really. I mean, I think I'm going to take accuracy because I need more damage for the elite path. Getting to take the elite path is a really big deal. And Accuracy was the most likely way to get such damage out of that shop. Or card reward, rather, not shop. Obviously, now I want to hit a Blade Dance. Or a Cunning Potion, or a Cloak and Dagger would be okay. What about a second Accuracy? No. No, I will not be taking a second Accuracy. Okay, Blade Dance, also finisher. Dagger throws kind of okay. Fire potion's pretty good, but I already have decent potions. Go for Panic Button here. Or I can go for Card Remove. I think I'd rather go for Card Remove. Panic button might just be better though. Let's take a panic button. Jace, thanks for 43 months. I mean. It's a me, Calipers. Bruce, thanks for the seven months. Appreciate it. This finisher is going to be really good next turn. Really? Oh, it doesn't make block. Okay. Welcome back, HG Forest. 
Great work out there. White Beast Statue feels nice. Burst feels okay. Burst Panic Button, not the best synergy. Pantograph is optimistic, I would say. Kind of have to reach the boss for that to do anything. I dash now. I'll have one block at the start of the fight. I think I'm okay with not doing that. Nice, Roos. I keep wanting to play more Spirit Island. All right. I ended up just not using Panic Button for anything. Because Burst Blade Dance Plus is quite powerful. Down for an escape plan. Down for a piercing wheel. Just an escape plan. Upgrading Burst seems better with Calipers than usual. Upgrading Panic Button's actually not bad with Calipers. We've been playing Spirit Island at least weekly for five years. Still happy to play more. It's so good. It is a pretty good game. I have not played that much of it. This is a, a very strange situation where Act 1 Calipers is actually doing quite a lot for me. I gotta draw Blade Dance. I still gotta draw Blade Dance. Maybe put the strike here, so Blade Dance. Ah. That was pretty bad. So that exactly that doesn't happen <laughs> is why to put the strike there. Eternal Feather. A dagger spray for slime boss, maybe? It feels like I should be strong enough for slime boss already. Also, I'm at full health in the fight. I think I'm just skipping. Sure. Uh, this could be really bad. <laughs> I 
I'll be fine. We'll see. Whew. Shovel. Um. Yeah, I have to upgrade well laid plans. Seems kind of obvious. It is largely what panic button is in the deck for, Fat Goku. If only burst panic button worked. It kind of works. Arguably not how you would want it to. Why am I playing with two cameras on? Oh, it's actually just one camera. How's it going, Onion Knight? I have taken revenge on the slime boss. 49 plus 36. Phantasmal Killer Nightmare Grand Finale again. I'm gonna try to take a nightmare here, I think. I don't know, Phantasmal Killer is kind of okay. Do I need more damage? Kind of. Nightmare can make more damage, though. You remember when a Phantasmal Killer cost two upgrade to one? The good old days. Where's the pyramid? Didn't Jorbs upgrade one laid plans? I did. And look where that got me.
The question is, should I? Hold two cards? I think I hold one card. Brains breaking. Okay. A reflex, a catalyst plus. You just take catalyst plus here. I think you might just take catalyst plus here. Slimed is sometimes good enough. What was the benefit holding one card over two? Uh, Burst Blade Dance needs me to have a lot of space in my hand to work. Taking cards out of order, what a disaster. See, Burst Blade Dance doesn't really work here, does it? Hi, Zephyr. It is isn't a very speculative catalyst. I already have well-laid plans and burst and nightmare. It's actually like kind of the opposite of speculative. <laughs> Admittedly, I will admit I don't have any way to generate poison <laughs> in my deck. If I must, I, I will admit that that is true. Um, I think just this. White Beast Statue to Poison Potion. Nice. Good thinking. Probably something like that's okay. We force this heal. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well. I can get six shoves. Should be enough. My guy, gotta take the gamble. I think you're a very handsome cat. And the game. That one's kind of. <laughs> Hmm. I'll take an after image and a fumes. It seems fine. The deck's kind of all over the place. But that is okay. I'm kind of like very close to winning the game two different ways at the same time here. Which is more ways than you need to win the game. Generally you only need to win the game one way. It looks like probably I'll just be able to win the game multiple different ways at the same time, though. Like, the deck is just that strong. Feels good. Thank you, Zephyr. Would you like to lick the microphone again? No. Just sweetie. Want some food? Can I have some food? I'm gonna get my cat some food. I'll be right back. Twitch chat. How's it going? I am sorry that you can't watch the Twitch VOD right now. You'll be able to later. You know, Anchor seems okay here. I 
what were the boss relic options? Uh, well, Slaver's Collar. Ectoplasm Wristblade. Or the other two. Mr. Piercing Whale. Well, I'll take some damage then. It's a mere relevancy. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate it. Do I want to piercing oil here? I'm still alive. I get to heal at the campfire. I'm probably okay. It's kind of a pleasant run to play. I don't have any number relics. It's mostly impossible for me to take damage. I don't have a ton of clutter in my deck either. Like most of the cars in the deck are just extremely strong engine pieces. I have a white beast statue, but I never use potions anyway, so I get to discard a potion every fight. I don't know if that part's very good. I'm gonna take a leg sweep. Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm using both potions here. Sure could use one more energy. How much for a gambling chip? 20 bucks. I mean... 
Okay. <laughs> it all really lined up perfectly in the end. I would like to upgrade Burst. I would kind of like to upgrade Nightmare too. Burst seems like a big upgrade though. This isn't awful. I'd like to get another good potion. Because I don't currently feel great about the elite fight, but with one potion, start to feel okay. Nice buttons. Bouncing flask had opinions. Sure did. You get the lean brown. All right, what's my potion? Explosive potion and another blade dance. Okay, we can go for it now. Weird. Twelve. Eighteen. 21, I was kind of closer than I thought it was going to be. It's the Primesy Fleck! Goodbye, the slavers. A bag of marbles. This deck can take a tools of the trade. It's a bit slow. But it does have a wraith farm and stuff. It has a lot of basics in it still. Upgrading tools, upgrading nightmare, upgrading. Yeah, probably one of those. I can also dig. Don't love it. After Mitch? Bouncing Flask. Bouncing Flask is an upgrade.
What does the option in the bottom left of the REST site say? <laughs> does it say dig? You tell me. Oh. The entire plan there was to carry a block with calipers. I did. I did to carry a block with calipers. GG. Mm. I kind of want to take die 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 for rep the mancer, but. I I don't think I need to, do I? I probably don't need to. I think coffee dripper just fine. I guess like campfires should be pretty good for me. I don't know if I'm meant to go out of my way to get. More. I want to shop. So I can go this way or I can go this way, and they're very similar, actually. <laughs> they're very similar. This way has another campfire. Is that true? It has more flexibility at the end. I guess I'll take the one with more flexibility. A 64-bit robot. How are you? Can Jorbs tap to deal one damage to target creature or player? Oh my god, I loved Prodigal Sorcerer so much when I started applying magic. I think my friend played Prodigal Sorcerer against me, and my deck only had one toughness things in it for some reason, and then they all died, and I was like, that is the best card in Magic the Gathering. which in retrospect is not true. Also, I liked that it was called Tim after the wizard in Monty Python, the Holy Grail one, whatever it's called. When you were little, your favorite card was Merfolk Looter. I used to pick one, pack one, Merfolk Looter over Fireball. I 
and I am very confident it was right. And everyone I've ever talked to about it is very confident I was wrong. But I'm pretty sure I reached like... I don't know, number three in limited rating in the world or something doing that, so I'm gonna go with me. It was on Magic Online, it wasn't like for real. That might have actually been when I got to number... No, I think I only ever got to number three. Hey, Miss Lillian! You never got into magic, should you? Nope! You should not. I suffer. Gosh, I really thought that my hand would be better than this for some reason. All right, goodbye all my health. Magic is just a very different thing from what it was when I used to play. And also it's subjectively evil. <laughs> It's very noticeably. It's very noticeable that the oversight of Magic the Gathering is composed of people who are very interested in making a lot of money these days. And thanks for the seven months, appreciate it! Well, I do go to a lot of campfires, like I said before. So it doesn't matter very much that my health is low. It also isn't really particularly low. I'll take a whale, sure. 540 gold. Another wreath form, I think. I think the only question right now is how do I beat Awakened One? Perhaps the answer is this footwork? I don't really have any block cards though. Footwork should be fine. I don't know. We go to another shop now. Um, I definitely like Finesse. I probably like Flash of Steel a decent amount. I do have 5 energy. Thinking ahead, Discovery. Let's take Discovery. Discovery's fine. You could get into Magic the Gathering without really paying if you looked hard enough. You could also play games like Magic the Gathering, which were not built around the idea that you would ever have to pay. I mean, you will have to pay a little bit. But like, you could just become a Spirit Island player or something. It is a better game. And isn't built around loot boxes. Every other game that tries to imitate it has managed to capture all of the bad parts without all of the good parts. Slay the Spire? I 
like Slay the Spire, is missing most of the bad parts about Magic the Gathering. I feel like you might just be defining Magic the Gathering by its bad parts, actually, if that's what you think. Like, it sounds like if a game doesn't capture all of the bad parts of Magic the Gathering, you aren't counting it as Magic the Gathering-like. Which is obviously going to result in you thinking that all the games that emulate it capture all of its bad parts. Land system's very important. You need people to be able to get mana screwed. Because, uh... Um, uh, because, yeah, it's just more fun that way. Being PvP is substantial to deliver a similar experience. Well, the way that Magic is PvP has changed and isn't PvP anymore, so it kind of been that central. We'll play Commander now, which is very different. Hey, the house! I'm full of good points. That's what they say about me. They say, Jorbs, that Jorbs, he's always so full of good points. I think it is very reasonable to say that Magic pretty much invented uh, trading card games as we now think of them. I don't think that is an unreasonable thing to say at all. Magic is a 30 years old. They just celebrated the 30 year anniversary. In Vegas, yeah? I didn't go. Actually, I was in Vegas at the same time. <laughs> I just didn't want anything to do with it. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, I did a terrible misplay. Any good silent player would have played Discovery with a zero card draw pile there so that I could grand finale off it. Oh well. I feel like the London mulligan system is for cowards. For cowards and babies. Back in my day, we would wait in queue for 10 minutes to play a game which was decided by somebody mulliganing to four. And you know what? We liked it. My thoughts on the Slay the Spire co-op mood mod. I've never played it. Perhaps someday I will. I have played the Slay the Spire board game. It's pretty good. And is cooperative. That's nice, Grandpa Jorbs. Okay, Grandpa, are you going to tell us about the hike to school next? Oh, we didn't have... um. We didn't have schools when I was young.
Choose a card to copy. Oh, that seems pretty good here. And I put well-aid plans in play? Okay, okay, okay. Good, good potion. <laughs> Very good potion. Oh my god, mana burn! Hell yeah. Now we're talking. Kids these days don't even know what mana burn is. Heartbeat of Spring into cast a one drop into take one damage. I can make some popcorn and stream the board game. I have streamed the board game on this channel. I was not eating popcorn at the time. Anti was before my time. Can't relate, but I'm sure it was honorable and never caused a single playground incident. Just can't imagine how a game played largely by children introducing a gambling element could <laughs> go poorly. <laughs> uh. Do you think that Magic the Gathering has gone woke Twitch chat? I actually just had a like physical response to saying that. That's kind of gross. Like my entire body shuddered. <laughs> Wasn't that an actual accusation of the Lord of the Rings set? Oh yeah, they they made Aragorn not a white guy. Which, to be clear, the text doesn't say he's a white guy. So uh, I thought that was <laughs> completely fine. I would have been fine with it if the text explicitly said he was a white guy too. Go for it. I am all for the woke people taking over the world. Do you think that the woke people have anything in common with the village people? Because I like the village people too. Definitely. Nice. There's another Wraith Farm, right? So I can go Wraith Farm Survivor. I don't even have to take one damage. Unless I... Oh, actually, I will take damage here because I don't have a block card anymore. Okay. Well, I didn't think that all the way through. But... Oh, shit. I was wrong. I do have a block card. I didn't think that all the way through... All the way the through several times over. What if five wraith forms aren't enough? We have a vulnerable potion, I guess. 
I'm sure we'll be fine. I think I'm gonna go kill another elite. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. The early panic button pickup feels like it just, like, very easily won the entire run. I don't know if anyone else picked up on that, but I, I really feel like that early panic button pickup just trivialized the entire run. Definitely a block card. It does feel that way sometimes. Except the turn after. Floor obtained two, block retained 522. Four per turn. It's better than Thread and Needle. It's not actually better than it's not actually better than Thread and Needle. Sorry, what I said was untrue and I should be punished for my crime. You know what Relic's gonna be in YouTube Jorbs' thumbnail? We really don't, because I don't make the thumbnails, so I don't know. I guess I will note in the spreadsheet that Panic Button was a big deal this run. Which Jorbs face will this one have? I think this one will be the Sipping Tea Jorbs. I think Sipping Tea Jorbs is my favorite, actually. Definitely, definitely an all-time great Sipping Tea Jorbs. You're thinking crossed arms with professional-looking smile? Could be. Hadn't considered that one. I had to, like, give it some thought. I could see it, though, yeah. Splash text, this is a strawberry run. I have never seen strawberry be this good before. Oh, maybe it will be the pog face then. Maybe it will be this one. It's not your favorite doesn't capture my vibes. Well, they're not my vibes. They're YouTube Jobs' vibes. He and I are not the same person. YouTube Jorbs faces one. I recorded myself making faces at some point, like two years ago. And then the video never got incorporated into new faces, and I didn't care. So I, it's fine by me.
Turns out that's completely okay. Google and things with 34 months. Appreciate it. Had the original of this song stuck in your head for all of the exam week last week, last year. Not the worst. Are you saying this isn't the original song? Is this what you're telling me? It's a remix. I had no idea. Absolutely none. Sounds pretty similar to the original. I didn't know there was a different version, so... <laughs> that doesn't really... feel like it has much relevance to me. In my confusion. Have I ever taken new Facebook for every YouTube thumbnail? A new face picture for every thumbnail? I don't have anywhere near that much artistic integrity. Well, I take a new face picture for every comment. You know what's wild about video? Is that kind of at every second, there's um, 60 new face pictures of me being broadcast to you. So really, if you think about it, I'm taking Thousands, millions, billions, dare I say trillions of face pictures every day. I don't hate Mango here. I think Mango is actually pretty good here. I don't hate Bullet Time there either, but Backflip felt a bit stronger. I might have run out of upgrades that make sense. In which case, I could just dig for the first time in the run. Cash in on this shovel. You know what? Maybe I should have done that sooner. Not a bad outcome. Is this going to be another poison overflow fight? No, I have only one nightmare. Since there are 84,000 seconds in a day, that's a very round number. Does anybody else find that suspicious? Supposedly, if you do your taxes and have round numbers on them, that like increases the likelihood you'll be audited. So... I guess I know where to send the IRS, is I guess what I'm saying. When is the dig random roll decided? Oh, the relics are in a... There, there's a common relic, uncommon relic, and rare relic deck, which is shuffled at the start of the run. But I think... Uh... The game is a lot less interesting if you, like, retroactively judge how things would go based on an unreasonable understanding of how the RNG works in it. Goodbye, Time Eater. Zero is the roundest number, so if you're taxed to say you owe zero dollars, does that mean you get audited? Is zero the roundest number? I don't know if it is. Like, 8 stands out. 
8 is around, I would say, twice as much as 0. 0 is literally a circle. My friend, you gotta go look up what a circle is. I'm worried not just for you, but also for the state of America, um, the state of education in this world. That is not what a, not what a circle is. Socrates was sentenced to death for less. That's kind of a deep cut. Uh, is O a circle? Probably depends on the font you're using, would be my guess. You know what? I kind of need these to die. And this makes me very sad, but uh, let me use both poison potions to try to kill one faster. <laughs> Nothing on your screen or that you ever saw is a true circle. No, I saw a true circle once. Oh, I should have killed this, I guess. I bet. Yeah, that would have been a lot better than what I did. Am I just dead to a weakened one? I did say a weakened one would be hard. I'm feeling like I was right. Not playing strike here last turn was a very large mistake. I wouldn't come on screen and lie to us. I agree. Of course not. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm here to tell you the hard truths. The truths that honestly some of you aren't even ready to hear yet yourselves. I think as long as I have more than zero health, it's completely fine. So this doesn't seem like that big a deal. It's starting to feel like more of a deal. I have so many blurs and I'm not over blocking. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We're fine. I actually should be fine here. It's just been a bit of a tricky fight. That's all. But yeah, I can just Nightmare Wraith form pretty soon and win. I have Bouncing Flasks and I have Noxious Fumes to actually do the damage. 
guess I could also Nightmare Blur. I'll do the upgraded one if I'm going to do that. It will gain strength if I Wraith Form. Well, in that case, I guess I've lost. You can always tell whether it's the first or second Act 3 boss, B Mancer. Because the first one is on floor 50, and the second one is on floor 51. Little trick for you. Little Slay the Spire trivia. It's not 100% true, though, actually. Because it is possible for you to take the portal on floor 48. Skipping one floor. I've had that happen before. But I mean, it's like mostly true. Portal? Taking the portal doesn't change the floor number, correct? Yeah, nobody has ever used the portal for anything, so, like, nobody knows if there are bugs with it or whatever. Like, how would anyone know? But it is correct that it doesn't change what floor you are on. So that is a bit weird. First Nightmare Wraith Form for maximum Wraith Forms. Do you think I need that many Wraith Forms? Like, really? I feel like I might not need that many Wraith Forms. We should think about the people who don't have Wraith Forms yet. Shouldn't we let them have Wraith Forms too? At some point, I will have a run where I portal the Act 3 campfire because Eternal Feather would have turned off Red Skull. I have already played runs where I have portaled because it was correct. It used to be correct semi-frequently because the danger in the boss gauntlet was not so significantly less than the danger. Or sorry. The danger in the boss gauntlet was not so significantly more than the danger from the Act 3 elites once upon a time. And so sometimes you would have like a potion belt full of potions that would kill the one boss at the end of Act 3, and you could see which boss that was, and there wasn't going to be another one or the heart fight because that part of the difficulty of the game wasn't released yet, and you would get the portal, and it would be correct to take it. But it certainly isn't something that happened often ever, and it certainly almost never happens now. You're in the middle of moving, turn on Jorbs to have something neat in the background and see two Wraith Form Pluses held in the Act 3 boss fight seems normal. This is, as they say, how you do it. this game for over a thousand hours and you feel like you've never taken it even once well were those thousand hours in the last like four years because yeah i think you mostly took it over four years ago if you were going to take it ever they can pull themselves up by their bootstraps and get their own wreath forms that's a good point That's a great point. You feel like it's there to acknowledge how boring some Act 3 fights are? I mean... <laughs> I 
Alright, a lot of Waking One Fight was kind of scary. Your main axis of interaction with the portal is explaining that can appear if you get to Act 3 too fast because it was ruined speedrunning. Yep. And there's a color corollary observation there, which is that playing the game, if you're not a speedrunner, in order to maximize your theoretical win rate, requires playing fast enough that you reach Act 3 events before Portal can spawn. So really, if you watch someone play Slay the Spire and they take more than 15 minutes to get to the end of Act 3, or 12 minutes, I remember, I don't remember exactly what the number is, but whatever the number is, they are, they are making a clear game theoretical mistake, if you see that to be the case. They're just leaving wins on the table. Exactly. This is a very good bottle on well laid plans. Very good bottle on well laid plans. Like this one, because it's a bit of health, maybe. Did we get all the fruit? Strawberry, pear, mango. Nice. Well done, everyone. You're just eating a pear that you dug from the ground. Where else are you going to get a pear from? They don't grow on trees. They don't have waffle? That's fine. They're very sugary. Nice. Managed to save one block there. Huge. Panic button continues to very easily carry the entire run. I don't have to reform yet. Because I have a pantograph. Now I probably have to reform. I think we have reached the point of the fight where we reform. Good, 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 good. The fight appears to be over. Bouncing Flask has had some very strong opinions this run about which enemies deserve to die. Gambling chip seems pretty decent. Like another footwork? I don't know. Like all of this is some variety of fine. Let's take out another well laid plants. Even though one's bottled, still seems okay. If I want to use this now, I 
sure. I should have drank this. Oops. We are holding Bouncing Flask and Catalyst because I am going to play Burst and then I am going to play them. I remember when Awakened One was hitting us for 50. And we complained. Gosh, to think we complained about that happening. Life is really different in retrospect, isn't it? How do you know you're in the good old days before they're gone? I think this ended up looking like a very easy silent run, but I think that, like, I don't know, probably there were moments where I could have drawn less well than I did and just immediately died. It feels kind of plausible. Uh, but yeah. I only removed one strike from the deck the entire run. Nine of my ten basics are still here. Purchased a panic button after getting a calipers from Scrapoos. And then upgraded the panic button. And it turns out that upgraded panic button plus calipers is actually really, really strong in Act 1. Just kind of blocks for two turns. And then eventually, I started off with like the accuracy blade dance finisher thing to deal damage at the start. And then, already having burst a nightmare and well laid plans, I took a catalyst with no poison, added some poison, a couple of wraith forms. GG. At some point, I'll actually upload these YouTube shorts to YouTube, but it will not be this day. This run had like three moments, actually. It's a really interesting run. We had calipers plus panic button. Blade dance, accuracy, finisher. Two, nightmare, burst, catalyst. Plus Wraith Farm. The run had more inflection points than I am used to in Run of Slay the Spire. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, the relics were very, very strong. And I remember saying in Act 1, like, I'm kind of winning the run two or three different ways at the same time. But I'm just strong enough that I can. So, then I did. What was the name of the game?